Okay. Hey guys, this is Brain92. Uh, you may know me from my combo videos in uh, Aquapaza. If not, you can see them on my channel. Um, but recently, um, yesterday in fact, I was just browsing happily on YouTube looking for videos. When I recently came across um, this video asking for help, saying that he needed uh, support. And I'm like, okay, what, what the heck is this about? And his channel is called Chibi Reviews, and he apparently got hit by a um, he got hit by a false um, copyright claim. And the guy, the poor guy, could barely talk on it. Um, he at first was able to kind of keep calm, but by the end of it, he's he's barely able to speak and I can tell when somebody's just putting on the fake uh, cro uh, crocodile tears and when somebody's legit upset and this guy was not crying crocodile tears he is legitimately upset um, and they say that um, it's TBS or, or something like that that um, hit him with these he put up uh, three videos I can't remember the name of them um, you can you can check what it is on his channel and you'll see what, what they were. Um, and it was the first time um, knowing the guy, uh, so I don't really know him too well. I just know what the video uh, was claiming. Um, but I figured that, you know, I'll check everything out just in case by the off chance he did accidentally post something because, you know, I'm not going to make this video, make myself look an, like an ass, and then get laughed at because I've done that before and it doesn't feel very good. Um, so I went through all of these videos claiming that, oh, you broke these rules, so we're flagging your thing. Um, and apparently he can't mon uh, monetize his videos. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, he can't put anything, I believe, over past 15 minutes, I believe, if that. Um... So, he makes his living off of these. So they are literally fucking with his way to survive and to make a living. So really, what, what is he going to do um, if they screw this, screw this up? Um, I can't do too much because I'm, a, I'm literally, they, they say, big fish in a small pond and little fish in a big sea. Well, I'm literally a tiny fish in a tiny pond. Like... I've got 18 subscribers or something. This guy's got over a thousand, so he's a he's a bigger name. Um, so I can't really do much aside from this video to try and help him out, and I'm trying to do as best as I can. Um, so anyway, I'm I'm going through all these videos, and I'm thinking, okay, let's let's just see. Um, and I'm going through almost 10 videos. And as we all know, the only way to get copyrighted is if you take something that isn't yours and claim that it is, you show copyrighted content and don't give the proper um, credits, or um, you go around and try and do a whole bunch of other crap that just isn't right. Um, he did none of this. Absolutely none of this. He is literally just talking into a mic the entire freaking time doing reviews. How do you break copyright doing that? Like, seriously, how do you break copyright doing that? You can't. You literally cannot break copyright doing that. If he's getting, getting flagged for doing that, then every fucking YouTuber might as well get shut off. Like, I might as well be gone... Um, Markiplier might as, we, might, might as well be gone and everybody else because I guess we've all broken copyright because we posted something like I, I've uploaded my combo videos I recently uploaded um, my game Kizuto which you can actually see there in the background um, so well my, I guess I'm screwed right uh, oh no it's, it's right there in the background I, I'm fucked Sorry guys, I'm 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 screwed. Can't bring this this video across. Um, I'm screwed now just for making this video, right? Um, so it's like, 
what the fuck? You're you're screwing with some guy's livelihood just for making videos that don't make don't break copyright at all. It's like do you have like nothing else to do than to screw with people's lives who haven't done anything wrong? That's literally what it's coming down to. And apparently from what I was reading, um one of my um uh one of my favorites uh, who I used to watch, um, I haven't checked out any of his videos in a while, but I used to, um, Nostalgia Critic apparently got hit with this too, and so like, oh really, so I checked his channel, and sure enough, the, just his regular channel isn't there anymore, it's, uh, some other thing, um, so I was surprised by that, um, and um, if I remember correct, he, um, he made all of the necessary um, precautions and gave all the right credits to everybody and they still screwed him over so what the hell like I, I just don't understand it like everybody should be off now if that if they're gonna do that and they're literally gonna screw themselves into the ground because every goddamn youtuber is gonna be like fuck this like I'm gonna be screwed next like Really? Like, uh, now I'm not going to be able to post anything because they're eventually going to come to me and say, oh, you screwed something up somewhere. You're going to go scrolling down trying to find where you screwed up and you're not going to find anything and you're just going to be left wondering. Um, apparently, he has sent numerous letters, numerous calls, and a bunch of other pleas trying to figure out what's going on and they're not getting back to him. So that's even more bullshit trying to trying to figure out you can't figure anything out try and uh, make whatever mistake you made proper when they're not telling you what mistake you made in the first place and how to fix it all they say is like oh no you've broken copyright it's like well okay what copyright did i break and what did i do so i can fix that it's like oh well you just broke it we're not going to say any more info than that and whenever you try and freaking ask us about it we're just going to say fuck you we we're not going to say anything. You're just like fucking spammed and bye-bye. It's like, well, yeah, thanks a lot. I, I, I don't understand it. It's like literally people are going to start saying fuck you and going elsewhere. And they're going to run themselves into the ground. Um, uh, from what I understand, they're an affiliate of Google or, or something like that. I, I didn't really delve too much into that. But if that is true, that's now going to start affecting them because with everybody gone from YouTube, they're going to start losing money or whatever whatever they gain from being an affiliate. So I just, it's boggling my mind. Like it really is. So I'm trying to get my own little say to help him because I cannot stand this kind of crap. If he did something wrong, then yeah, she too bad for him. Shame on him. You shouldn't have done that. Like, you know what had happened if you broke copyright laws. That's, you know, your own damn fault. But if you didn't break anything, which he didn't, then fuck you, YouTube. I'll straight out say it. Fuck you. And it's your... It's not just him who's being hit. Like, there, there are a lot of people I was reading in the comments that have been hit by this, and... The people who, who who haven't been hit are afraid they're going to be. Like someone like me, if 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 I get flagged for this, it doesn't really it doesn't really I, I don't really care. Like I said, I'm a tiny fish in a tiny pond. Like I barely even even upload anything. Nobody really checks out my channels. I think the most I got for my video is my Kizito video, which has like thirty something views. Whoop the fucking do. Like. People like him and those bigger other names, they've got literally hundreds of thousands of views. They are the ones that are going to be hit hard and it's going to screw them over. Me, it's just going to be like in mild ear to like, damn it, now, now I can only watch videos instead of actually upload videos. But I can just get around that and make some random email, put it back on. They're not even going to know it's me. But they're not going to be able to get around that so so damn easily. They're going to le learn, or, sorry, there's mouth mumbles. 
um, they're going to lose so much more than that. They're going to lose like years worth, literally years worth of content that they have uploaded that they may not be able to get back. So some people say, oh, well, just back it up and, you know, I'll be all right. It's not always that simple. Sometimes it is. Like, like I said, someone like me could do that. I've only posted like 10 videos, if that. But somebody who's literally uploaded hundreds, even thousands of videos can't necessarily do that. They'll probably be able to get a good number, but not everything. Good on them if they can, and then it won't hurt as much. But that's still something that they don't want to be hit with, even if they can do that, especially when they're being hit for no fucking reason. Like, this this guy, he can't even talk. Like, he's freaking out on camera. And it's like, jeez, man. Like, I don't, I was, um, like, as soon as I, I heard this, I was, it's been pissing me off for the last two days. Like, I was, I was playing with friends on my Aquapaza game, and I wasn't able to concentrate properly because I was so pissed off. Like, I am one of the best players in the world at that game, and I could not concentrate because I was so goddamn pissed off. That is why I'm making this this video, is to, to just to vent, to, to try and get my, my stress out and to try and help him. Hopefully it works, but who knows? I really, really hope that, that uh, my video helps, and I, I really pray to God that he gets he, he gets his his stuff worked out and YouTube or D WPS or whatever the hell it's called works their shit out and gets back to him and say oh crap it was our mistake and I hope whoever the fuck made this claim um, gets what's coming to him because thousands and thousands of people are right pissed off like I don't even know the goddamn guy like I just randomly came across him one day I'm like oh well geez and I'm pissed off let alone his followers and he's got thousands of them like I literally personally went to two of the biggest streamers I know I'm not gonna name names because I don't want them to get hit um but I went to two of the biggest streamers I know because they've literally got hundreds of thousands of viewers. So they've got big influence. And I hopefully will hear back to them and they will try and help out. They're not obligated to, and I made that clear to them, but I hope they, they make a video to try and at least tell them what's going on. Because hopefully that'll spread the word really quick. But we'll see. Um, but like, like I said, I hope things work out for him because if this goes down, that could severely impact his life because he's, he's got hundreds of videos up. Like it, it took me a long time just to go through those eight videos and I'm going scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and they're just not ending. So if he loses this he's going to be screwed badly and YouTube's going to be like, whatever, not my problem. Bye. Um, yeah, YouTube, it is your fucking problem because you're fucking him over when it's not his fault. And you're not getting back to him when he's imploring you to. Um, apparently he sent a, a, uh, a letter to the places in Japan, which apparently are the ones, uh, doing this copyright claim. Um, and hopefully they will get back to him. The one that helped him with that says they will. Um, how long it takes, I don't know. But apparently he's only gotten one hit. And apparently he's got the three strike rule. But just one hit has done this to his channel. So if he's only got one hit from not even doing anything, how long is it until he gets the three strikes? So... I, I don't know guys I I will I will leave the link in the description below in in my channel so if you guys see this video you can go to it and see for yourselves um, 
what you guys think. If you think this is bullshit, or if you think, hey, pfft, I don't care. No, I, I think he is. Yeah, I think he is doing the crocodile tears, and I, I think he does deserve it. Um, and that's your choice. That's your decision. Everybody thinks differently, right? And I, I got no control of that. He got no control over that. It's, we're all free thinkers. But I, w I will leave it there. Um, it's only a three-minute video, so it's not too long. But those three minutes really impacted me. And it is very, very hard to get me to react to anything when it regards emotional stuff. And it only took about a minute of that video to make me want to punch someone out, literally. So, yeah. Um, I guess I will leave it at there for now. Um, I hope things go well for him. I hope all his fans and supporters, and me included, I subscribed to his channel so I can get updates. Um, I hope things go well for him. And I hope YouTube and every other thing screwing him over realizes his mistakes. Until then, keep enjoying anime, guys.